Today we're in one of the most exclusive and desirable communities in the country, Rancho Santa Fe. The Covenant of Rancho Santa Fe was established in 1928 as a country residential community with an emphasis on agriculture and preserving the unique landscapes. Since then, Rancho Santa Fe, or the ranch as the locals say, have evolved into a breathtaking community with around 4,300 residents. With an acclaimed golf club in the town center featuring shops, restaurants, businesses, and the historic Rancho Santa Fe Inn, the ranch has truly become an area that attracts everyone from young families to retirees that want to spend their golden years in one of the most beautiful places in the country. We're going to be learning even more about the history of this community and what it has to offer from top producing agent and Rancho Santa Fe resident, Ann Brizolis. Let's go catch up with her now. We're here today at the iconic Mill Fleur restaurant in the heart of the Rancho Santa Fe community with real estate elite Ann Brizolis. Ann, thanks for having us here. Thank you so much. It's great to be here with you. Ann, you've been a Rancho Santa Fe resident for 30 years. You've been involved in real estate for 27 years. Tell us a little bit about this community and why it's so special to you. It's been such a delight to live here and we came here 30 years ago with a three-year-old little boy and we raised our son here and so that was very um, important to us and we were looking for just the ideal Southern California community, great schools. We really didn't know much about it before we got here. We started our San Diego journey in La Jolla and literally found Rancho Santa Fe like so many people do by accident as we did more investigation and we started looking that this could become our new home we found the village of Rancho Santa Fe, and I think at that time, this location, Mill Fleur, was just a newly opened restaurant. 30 and years ago. 30 years ago, and I wow. remember celebrating birthdays here, and the courtyard is one of my favorite places in the ranch, and especially this time of year, it's just so pretty, and that you sit outside, and you know, lunch or dinner, it's just magnificent. So tell us a little bit on about how it's changed. You know, that's very interesting because when we arrived, um, the Rancho Santa Fe Covenant, which is where we are now, was really the, what I call now the original recipe. It was Rancho Santa Fe, the 92067 zip code, and Fairbanks Ranch was really the new kid on the block. And it was not in the Rancho Santa Fe School District, which is why so many people have come to Rancho Santa Fe. Uh, the school district, very, very strong, very highly rated school district. They just um, underwent a $40 million remodel. So everything is state of the art and it's treated almost like a private school, although it's funded federally. And because of federal funds not being what some of the people in the community would like, there's a huge support from the community and parents. You mentioned coming here with a three-year-old. Sometimes I think that people might see Rancho Santa Fe as a place maybe for an, a, you know, an older demographic. Do you find that that's the case or are there a lot of families that come here? You know, what's interesting is um, people have seen Rancho Santa Fe as more likely a retirement community or young retirement community, let's put it that way. But it, in, in truth, the, there is such a vibrant young group of families here. and. At the time that we came here uh, and we settled in Fairbanks Ranch, I think the Covenant was probably a little bit of an older community, but over the years, believe it or not, there are now 35 little enclaves. All of these other enclaves, almost all of them are now gated communities that are all That's make up the larger Rancho Santa Fe community. So tell us about the homes and the types of homes that you can find in the Rancho Santa Fe community. What's really um, interesting, and it's very diverse, and again, you wouldn't think that maybe it would be, but uh, the Covenant is home to really the larger parcels. So where we're sitting here in the village, the village is very um, village-like. It's walking, you can walk to the restaurants, to the bank, to the market, to wherever, yes. shops. and so. The other parts of the Covenant have larger properties. They've been very uh, conducive to people that want to have tennis courts, guest houses, horse facilities, barns, things like that. So as you go into the outer lying areas of the Covenant, the properties actually got bigger. So, you know, you've been here for over 30 years now. You've seen all the changes. What socially is going on in the Covenant? What are some new and exciting places? Where are the hot spots that you like to go? Besides well, Mill Fleur, of course. Of course. <laughs> um, there's going to be a new restaurant, well, which will be opening very soon, which was our another favorite called Delicious. And this was a, a very favorite local place in Rancho Santa Fe for many, many years. And a new owner has come in and hired 
what we think is going to be an amazing chef and it's going to give a whole new life to the village. So that's exciting. The inn has recently been purchased by a local um, entity and they've done a wonderful remodel. There's some wonderful um, opportunities there. And one of the very, very unusual things about the community is 50 miles of groomed trails. That's part of the association paid for by the residents to keep the trails in order and they are used by uh, people to walk and horses and there's no motorized vehicles allowed on the trail. So if someone were to say to you, what is one misconception about Rancho Santa Fe, something that people might not know, that, that you know to be true to the area, what would you say? I think the misconception would be that it's stuffy. What I love to see is the balance and the mix. There's still the people that play golf that might be retired. There's the young families that are here because of the school and because of the lifestyle. And the other thing that's overlooked, because I think we take advantage of San Diego, is the weather. The Rancho Santa Fe weather is absolutely amazing. We don't get a lot of coastal fog, and it's just such a, it's such a lovely place to in, experience year-round. No better place to be. Exactly. And thank you so much for bringing us into such a special community it's today. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. You just heard from real estate elite Ann Brazolis about what it's like to live in Rancho Santa Fe, how this community's changed over the last 30 years, and some of the great highlights that this community has to offer. Now back to the show.